Good afternoon guys. Welcome back to Michelle's Garden. I'm going to do a quick video for you on fertilizing the garden. I'm going to show you what I do to fertilize the garden. I'm in here in the back building. Sorry, it got a little bit dark there. I'm getting my fertilizers. I just have to keep my eyes peeled for snakes because you just never know when there's going to be a snake back here. Jeff has cleaned up the building for me so I can see a little bit better. But I'm going to show you what I use. I've got a lot of different fertilizers that I use, but I'm going to show you what I'm using today to fertilize my corn and my tomato plants. Now I have a fertilizer injector that I use from Haas Tools, and I have a mixture that I mix, mix up that I put in that, and I pump it through a drip tape system, and I'll show you exactly what all that looks like. So first, let me show you the fertilizer injector. Okay, guys, right here is the fertilizer injector from Haas Tools. I'll put a, a link in the description so you can go to their website and look this up. This is 2020-20 fertilizer and MicroBoost. MicroBoost is a liquid. The 2020 fertilizer is basically like miracle Grow. I mix the two of these together. I put about maybe two plastic spoonfuls of the 2020-20 and about a fourth of a cup of the MicroBoost. I mix it in this little jar right here. I pour it into the fertilizer injector. I add water to it. I hook it up to my water hose right here and my faucet. And when I first turn it on, the other end of it is in the garden hooked to the drip tape. We'll look at that in a minute. When I first turn it on, the black tube is where the water goes in. The white tube is where everything comes out and pumps into the garden. So when I first turn it on and fill it up, I turn the white tube off and leave the black one on and give it a little bit of time to uh, fill up, maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. And then I open up the white tube and then it starts pumping into the garden. So let's head out to the garden and I'll show you where it's pumping. Okay, so now we're going to head out to the garden so I can show you how this pumps through the drip tape. It's been pretty noisy around here today. We got some trucks out here spreading fertilizer. At least I think it's fertilizer. It probably smells like fertilizer but or like chicken poop, but I can't smell because I lost my smell last year. That's probably a good thing because this field that they're spreading us in is right beside my garden. Okay, so let's go in here and let me show you the drip tape system. Okay, so right here is the mainline tubing. And off of it is your drip tape. And these are shut off valves. That fertilizer is running through this drip tape. I don't know if you can see that wet spot right there, but that's where an emitter is at. And I got one on each side of the tomatoes here. And same thing right here. One on each side of that tomato row. Same thing here. One on each side of this tomato row. And this last row here only got one going down there. But anyway, right here is where the hose hooks into the filter regulator. You can see it's dripping a little bit, but that's okay. It's got a filter in it right there. And then the regulator, it just uh, keeps the water pressure down from being so strong that it blows everything off the drip, drip line. So I am watering or fertilizing four rows of tomatoes today. Um, I have this row turned off. This is my cantaloupe. I fertilize that with a liquid seaweed solution. And I usually do it by hand. You can run it through the fertilizer injector too if you want to. You can run uh, organic fertilizer through it. You don't necessarily have to use uh, the kind of fertilizer I'm using. This is my corn. There are four times that you should fertilize your corn and the very first window is like when it's 
it's ankle high you use the 20 20 20 and the micro boost and then the next two times you use a granular side dress fertilizer and then your very last fertilization will be your micro boost in 20 20 20 but i'm pumping some of it to it today because i missed the very very first window and i'm just going to do it and see what happens <clears throat> so that's how i that's how i fertilize my garden um, I will do that probably once a month, every three weeks, once a month, uh, for my growing season. And it probably takes about two hours for that to pump through that fertilizer injector. Um, I'm only doing one side of the garden today. Tomorrow I will do the other side of the garden. And the only thing that I'm really watering and fertilizing on the other side would be the green beans. Um... I'm not fertilizing my potatoes because it's just about time to pull them out. And probably also the the onions too. But uh, before I end this video on fertilizing, I want to show you guys a um, sunflower that came back on its own. I didn't plant this. There, there was one there last year probably and the seed just... Uh, got some seeds got dropped off of it or something and this is called a chocolate cherry sunflower check that out it's really dark but it's very beautiful now I've got sunflowers planted all over the garden I'll show you more of them as they come out there's the green beans there's the onions that's what left of my carrots. Right here is some peanuts. This is some Swiss chard. That's my kale that needs to come out. I've got two squash plants planted right here. I've got some cabbage over here that's been eaten up by the bugs. That's probably not going to be eaten. Um, it's pretty damaged deep down in the middle. Which I really hate that. I got my peppers, some more potatoes. I'll take you guys out here. Take you out here and show you the greenhouse right quick because we worked on the greenhouse for the past two weekends and uh, got a lot of it done. Jeff has really worked hard on it. If it wasn't for him, this greenhouse wouldn't wouldn't have gotten done. It, it I couldn't have done it. I don't think I could have. But we did work on it together. And this past weekend we got the track, the wiggle wire track that holds the plastic that that put on. My brother is supposed to come and build the doors for us. And after the doors are on, then we can put the plastic on. And then I think we'll be good to go as far as getting something going, getting something growing inside here. So let me show you what it's looking like. There it is, guys. I spent last weekend painting. We did the, built the end walls and painted on it. I think it's looking really, really good. Let me show you what the track looks like. This is the track right along here where the plastic will be held in by a wiggle wire, and it is what it sounds like a wiggle wire so the end the end plastic that goes on the end here will go up and over into a track right along over the hoop on both sides and then the plastic that goes over the top will attach along here on the side uh, we have to put another piece of track right here so that in the winter time we can secure it all the way down to the bottom but for the meantime when we put the plastic on there will be some long tubing that will go the whole length of the greenhouse and it will roll up to that first hip board and we've got screen on there i don't know if you can see the screen but that screen right there so that the animals can't get in while the sides are rolled up and uh, let's see, this 
past Saturday, I laid down all the black uh, ground cover that you see. I still have to do the back part. And then probably along the sides and the back, I'll put some sort of rock uh, border so it'll be easier for Jeff to mow around the greenhouse. And then this front part here, I'm going to put some sort of a path that will lead from the greenhouse back into the garden right along here and we'll build another arbor going into the garden. So that's everything guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video today. It's a beautiful day to be outside and be in the garden and just be at home. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.